If you are a ChatGPT lover like I am, then I got something really, really, really cool for you today. Uh, it's called Prompt Engine Pro, which is a product that's being released today. I'm going to review this product. But basically what it allows you to do is it's adding a layer on top of ChatGPT. So what you're seeing here is ChatGPT. But what you're seeing here, this is a layer on top of ChatGPT. This is a layer on top of ChatGPT. And it allows you to access thousands of pre-done prompts for you where you can fill in the blanks and you get a an awesome output. Now, not only that, inside of Prompt Engine Pro, you can also save your ChatGPT history inside of workspaces. Plus, it gives you the prompt history of all of your prompts that you have saved. And it also allows you to manage clients, add clients in here, and then share uh, specific workspaces with each client. So it's a pretty amazing product. I think if you are uh, working with ChatGPT, this is definitely something that you want to have in your toolbox. Now, in case you're interested, there is a link in the description of this video. It will redirect you to my website where you can see the pricing, uh, coupons, and also some free extra upgrades if you pick this up through my link. So make sure to check out that link. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you all the ins and outs of Prompt Engine Pro. So like I said, this is a layer on top of ChatGPT. Now this, what you're going to get is a Chrome extension, which is adding this layer on top of ChatGPT. Now look at the left side here. Uh, when I click on all these things, these are all pre-done prompts, what you're seeing right here. These are pre-done prompts for ChatGPT. As you can see here, there is a huge library in here, email marketing, uh, generate email subject lines, writing a sales email, writing onboarding emails, write a cart abandoned email, generating an, a newsletter, write a customer welcome email, write a cold email, but maybe you want to have funnels, okay, landing page for opt-ins, write a sales page, order bump copy, write an upsell. So, I think there are thousands of prompts that you're going to get with Prompt Engine Pro here. Affiliate marketing, write a JV page, write a JV video script, write a affiliate product reviews. Uh, but not only that, when you scroll down here, um, let me see where it is. You can even how to write books and stuff like that. But you can see it's a huge library of pre done for you prompts. Now, the cool thing is, so let's say we want to write a sales email. When I click on this, you can click on this prompt here. And here, when you look here, you see these brackets. We are launching product. It's designed for audience. And then these are three main benefits, feature one, two, three. So the only thing that you need to do is you need to fill out the blanks in here. So let's say um, I'm going to fill out the details in here for this product. This is my new product, coming up product next month. It's called Storyfy. Very cool product. I'm going to add it right here. And it's designed for, let's say, online marketers. And then these are the three main features benefits. So let me copy three of these benefits and let me put them in here. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to paste that in. This is the first feature. I'm going to copy and do the second feature in here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to paste that second feature. And then the third feature is giving a smart here. Let me see here. Feature three. I'm going to paste it in here. And then it says, write a sales email inviting the reader to buy a product at, let's say, 50% discount. So right now, I've set the name. I've set the features benefits. And the only thing that I click is update in here. And look at this. Now it has been added automatically here to ChatGPT. So we're launching Storyfy. It's designed for online marketers. These are the three main features benefits. And then all of the info in here. I'm going to click on write and now ChatGPT is going to write a sales email for me. And this is just one simple prompt and the output is amazing with ChatGPT. You know that. So here it's creating this email for me. Now, the cool thing is when this email has been created, I can save it. So once it's done, it's almost done in here. Um, it's going to give me the option here to save right now. I don't see that button. So not sure. Oh, there it is. Save history. Look at this. So when I click on save history, it's going to open this window, save your history. And I can save that in one of my workspaces. So in this case, it's email promos. And I'm going to hit save. So right now, 
my email has been saved inside of this email promos workspace. So when I go to this workspace, I can go to the prompt history and look at this. There is my prompt. So you can see I already done this before. We're launching Storify. It's designed for online marketers. And look at this. So I can see here the history response. So when I click on this, look what happens. It's going to show me the email that has been written by ChatGPT. So everything has been stored inside of my workspace here, which is very cool. So when I go back to the prompt history here, I can go through all my workspaces. So let's say I go to Visionary Ventures. I can see every prompt that has been uh, created for ChatGPT. Uh, and I can see the response that ChatGPT has written for me, as you can see here. So everything is being saved inside of your Prompt Engine Pro account. Now, one of the very cool features inside Prompt Engine Pro, if you create videos, is this little button here, record a video. When I click on this, it's going to open this field where you can modify the text. And when you're ready, you can click on this button, read and record. And look at this. It's going to open a teleprompter here where you can record your script with video. Um, Honestly, I had a bit of trouble starting this up and I haven't gone, gone through the troubleshooting, but basically this should work that you click this record button here and then it will scroll here. You got some extra options, some extra features in here, uh, like the font size here. You can change that if you like to, you can set the speed, uh, how fast it will go, the background colors, text color. So let's say you want to have another text color. You can do that as well. Uh, so you can change it and you can start the teleprompter and record your video for Prompt Engine Pro for your project. Now, the cool thing is that you can also copy this URL and send this to your mobile phone so that you can record this on your mobile phone as well, or you can send it through email. Now, that's all inside of your workspaces uh, where you have access to these workspaces. So when you go to these email promos, you go to your prompt history. There is all of your prompt history. Uh, you can also generate a PDF of this and you can send that to clients as well. Now, one of the cool things is that you can also manage clients in here. So when I go to manage clients, I can add a client here. And when I open this client, when I click on edit here, uh, the wrong button. When I click on this button here, assign workspace, I can say this client has access to my email promos, for example. So I can create a client folder and I can select that folder. I can save that. And now my client has access to that specific folder where I create marketing material for this client. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go back to chat GPT because there's much more possible inside of chat GPT. So let's say we want to have something else. So let's say um, we want to go to email marketing. We want to generate subject lines in here. So let's create a new chat. And as you can see right now, this is ChatGPT, And now, boom, the layer is on top of it. So when I go here to email marketing, I'm going to say subject lines. And I'm going to say, let's say, uh, let's update here. Let's see what it comes up with if I don't fill out anything. Uh, because I just want to show you something. Oh, well, it's not possible. Let's say generate uh, three email subject lines on dog training, something like this. It's just to show you an example here. So what you can do here is you can say, for example, I can say, okay, generate uh, 10 more. What you can do with the same product here is you can select title. So let's stop generating. You can select this title here and look what happens here. It's going to show an extra button here, add to workbook. And let's say I like this title as well. I'm going to select this title. I'm going to add this to the workbook as well. Look what happens here at the top. It says workbook two, right? Uh, let's say I want to have this one as well. So I'm going to select this line as well. And I'm going to say add to workbook. Now, Look, when I go to my workbook, it has saved all of this information and I can say dog training, training uh, titles, and I can even uh, give them a different order. I can type in here if I like to make some changes, I can do that. And the cool thing is I can add this to a workspace now as well. So I can say, for example, this is for my visionary ventures client. I'm going to save this and now these titles has been saved into this specific client folder or in this project folder. Super, super cool, as you can see.
Now, let's say we want to do something else. So we want to write, uh, let's say, podcast marketing, online business, let's say sales here. We want to have a, um, now let's take something else, webinar. We want to do, um, let me go here, or write a cold email here. Write a cold email. And we're going to do a new chat, of course. So here, let's say, um, dear James, so this is a, a cold email. I'm going to update this. I'm going to write the email here. So it's going to write a cold email for me. Then what you can do here is you can also change the writing styles in here. So let's say you want to change the writing style. You can also choose it from here. So friendly, expert, informative, assertive, professional, neutral. So if you'd like to change this email, you can say, okay, I want to have this friendly, for example. And can you help me out a bit presenting the information I've requested in a warm, conversational and friendly tone? So now I can click this and boom, the email will be written in a friendly tone. Super cool. So you have all these things. So you have writing styles in here. Uh, you have the length. So let's say you want to have something of 400 words. You simply click this and then ChatGPT will write it in 400 words. Or maybe you want to dig deeper here and you can choose from these options or Something else, let's say you want to write this in a different language. You can say, I want to have this in Dutch, for example. So we have these languages available. And uh, let's say I want to have this in Dutch. Okay. And then it says, please provide the response in Dutch. You can, of course, change this if your language is not in the list. And then, boom, it's going to write this email in Dutch. Look at this. <laughs> um, and you can change that everything in here. So the framework, these are different types of framework for, for uh, marketing, ADA. Um, attention, interest, and uh, not sure what the others are, but you know, you, you can change this in here and then it will write in that specific style. So you can choose these types on the fly as well. Now, another thing that you have, let's say we want to create a new chat. You can see it's loading the layer on top of it again. Then you also have here popular uh, prompts. So like demo here, like trending. So web developer, generate email subject lines, write sales emails, write a cold email, or maybe you want to get those here, build, launch, optimize, and skill, uh, e-commerce here, article and blogs. And another cool thing that you can do with Prompt Engine Pro is you can also add your own prompts. So when I go to my prompts and I go to email marketing, look at this. These are my prompts inside of uh, Prompt Engine Pro. So when I click on this, it says, hey, we're launching products. So I've created this prompt inside of Prompt Engine Pro. So here you can see custom prompts. You can create categories. So when you go to categories, you can see I have email marketing and I have social media. So you can create multiple categories and then you can go to your prompts where you can create prompts that are inside uh, your prompts in here that you can create. So when you click on add prompts, you can start writing your own prompts. You can select a category, let's say email marketing by Tim, and then you can put your prompt in here that will be loaded automatically uh, when you click on my prompts. It will automatically be shown in here. Now, one other thing that you also can do is you can also set the language of ChatGPT. So let's say you want to change this to German. You simply click on German and then everything will be changed to German. Look at this. Boom. The layer will be on top of it. And here you can see everything is in German. So email marketing. Eine betreff zeile generieren. I'm not a German speaker, uh, but you can see here this is in German. So we go back to English but you can change this to different languages as well. So yeah, you got thousands of prompts to choose from here. Like, let me open them so that you can see them. Coach GPT here, I already opened this. Email marketing, uh, you can pause the video if you liked. Online funnels here, uh, affiliate marketing, write a JV page, I already said this one. Facebook marketing here, create a Facebook ad copy, IDs for creative, write headlines for Facebook ad, write Facebook ads, video scripts, you know, it's just so much here. IDs for thumbnails, uh, write YouTube video script, YouTube video title, customer support, phone support, chat support, email support. Look at this. Uh, SMS marketing here. SMS for promotions. Uh, here, you click on it. Create an SMS offering a personalized discount on. Now, Storify, my upcoming product. After someone added the product to the cart but did not finish their purchase, use scarcity by saying there are only three units left update and boom, ChatGPT is going to write an SMS here for us. 
all the other things here. Look at this SEO, blog posts, podcast marketing, uh, LinkedIn here, posts for LinkedIn groups, LinkedIn profile, IDs for LinkedIn posts, ads for LinkedIn, hashtags, essentials, Twitters, uh, Twitter ads, trans tweets, Twitter threads. So let's say we want to generate a tweet. No problem here. Create an attention grabbing tweet around. And then we're going to say um, Storyfy. And then I can also say, um, let me copy this one, Storyfy. Some extra information about the product. And boom, it's going to generate a tweet for me here. Super cool. Um, and all inside here. So I, honestly, these are multiple, I think. Interactive feed, get the page of viewers with dynamic and interactive content that keeps them hooked. Take your content to the net. So it's giving the all these different options, these different tweets that you can choose from uh, and so many to choose from. As you can see here, the list goes on and on and on with prompts. And inside of Prompt Engine, you can manage everything. So you have your workspaces and super simple. You create a new workspace here. You simply click on new workspace. You give your workspace a name. So you can say uh, client A, you're going to hit save. And now you can save all of your prompts inside of client A. And you can share that with your client as well. And that is basically what Prompt Engine Pro is all about. It's an awesome tool to have in your marketing kit. I'm going to use it myself a lot. I'm sure about that. So uh, yeah, again, if you're interested, there's a link in the description of this video where you can see the pricing coupons, my free extra upgrades as well. And uh, yeah, please hit the thumbs up if this video was useful. Let me know what you think about this product. Do you like it? Uh, let me know in the comments and also consider subscribing. If you haven't done yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in my uh, future videos. Talk soon. Cheers.